good horse. He's very keen to to get to the outer, and just when they've turned in, there, there was nothing there when he's when he's asked um, Lewis Barnes to quick, and there wasn't anything there. Yeah, it'd be just a case of watch the market. I'd say yeah. the, the Butler Yard is is very your hard yard to predict. I find, and um, it'll be when the money's down, you wouldn't be a shock to see a, a better run from him absolutely that was uh, Wolverhampton's 440 El Ombre wins at 11 to 1 if you found that one I tip my hat uh, firmly to you Kitab 72 joint second favourite was back in second and Mumayaz uh, the most consistent horse uh, on the planet earth that just doesn't win but has got third has got another place 9 to 4 favourite back in third that was the 440 at Wolverhampton we won't be too far away from rejoining Craig ahead of the 450 at uh, Fakenham but let's just bring uh, Jan back in for a short moment plenty happening tonight Jan at Wolverhampton of course you landed at your nap over at Kelso earlier on so you're sitting pretty with a smug a grin on your face but have you got anything in terms of Wolverhampton any standout things tonight anything to look out for for maybe punters that are getting involved at Wolves anything you can see or notice in that race maybe I thought the 6.45 was a really interesting race now I think there's quite a few naps played in that by various people um but I, I thought Duke de, Duke de... De Mon- Morney, I think he's called, Tom Clover's horse. thought he was really interested in this race. Uh, he had his first start for Tom at, at Lingfield the back end of January, and I thought he, he ran quite a nice race. He he just screamed a horse he wanted stepping back up in trip. He, he was just doing his best work late on. Cheek pieces are back on tonight. You know, he's a horse who did some pretty decent form in France. He's unexposed on the all-weather. That was his first start on the all-weather, and I just thought from box to Jack Mitchell booked, he was a bit of a bigger price this morning. I thought he was certainly worth a, a look each way, but I think that is um it's a very good race, a six forty five, very competitive. You can give an awful lot of chances to. Um the seven fifteen, I thought Ian Williams horse Tonal. I was on last Saturday when he won and he just looked a horse who was one of those who could rack up a bit of a sequence and Billy Lock name keeps the rider. Um, when he rides Rian Williams, you always they have a good record together. Sit up and take notice. Look, he's he's short. He's probably eleven to ten, six to six to five type of price. But I, I thought he would take um a fair bit of beat in there tonight. But yeah, I thought the race I'm most looking forward to that six forty five. I think it's it's full of some intriguing horses. A couple got themselves well handicapped, and there's um a few in there that could just be um. Sneaking below the radar. Yeah, 10 runners currently for that 6.45 at Wolverhampton. Our roof our tops the betting at 9 to 4. If you do want to get involved early, you are more than welcome uh, to do so. Bit of a, uh, a selection already for you from Jan. Yeah, Duke de Mornay at 6 to 1 currently. So if you could go with the win, you could go with the place. You've got obviously uh, the first three places there naturally with the 10 runners. But 6 to 1 each way, you could probably do no worse uh, to Wolverhampton this evening. So Jan will be with us throughout the course of the evening. We're rejoining Craig very shortly indeed for the next race at Faken. And runners are just in the parade ring. Jockey just about to get the leg up uh, to fake them for the 450. Let me just give you a quick rundown of the betting for this upcoming race. We'll go over the two miles. Uh, Farlin two to five now. Heavy odds on favourites. Secret de Dieu is five to one. Wiltshire Wonder eleven to two. Kissagram is twelve to one. Lumi Plugin is twenty-two to one. Jack Out of Reach fifty to one and sixty plus. Quite literally is at a hundred to one. And the outsider of the party. If you are tuning in, a very good afternoon to you. If you do want to get in touch with the studio you are more than welcome to do so studio at williamhill.co.uk is the email you can get in touch send us your views any selections you've got tonight or any talking points that you wish that you want us to discuss we are more than happy to do so we are all ears and of course you can get in touch have you got a big fancy are you taking on the favorite want to weigh in on racing's big talking points get in touch and join the show Email us at studio at williamhill.co.uk. So runners just circling around in the parade ring at Fakenham ahead of the 450. Farland topping the betting. Looks like there's some uh, TLC or DIY uh, being done over at uh, Fakenham. Let's just bring uh, Craig Forsyth back in for the meantime as the uh, jockeys are ready to uh, mount their mounts quite literally in the uh, parade ring. Uh, Craig, we'll bring you in for this uh, 450. So some TLC being done on the track, hence the reason why we're in for a, a short delay. Um, but let's take a quick look at the favourite whilst we've got the opportunity to do so. Farland, 
four to nine here. The market very, very confident. And of course, Paul Nichols, Harry Cobden, that uh, usual uh, duo, usually get the job done and certainly should be getting the job done in a race like this, you would suspect. Yeah, you would hope so. You would hope so, Dan. Um, he made his first start for Paul Nichols on Boxing Day at Aintree. The ground was fairly soft, fairly similar to what he's going to encounter this afternoon. Um, it was greenness and inexperience that um, seen him come off second best on that occasion. He ran about a bit in the closing stages. He looks sure to improve from it. Uh, this looks a much easier race than the one at Aintree. You just want to see him. Knuckle it's down and run a minute. little bit straighter, a little bit truer in the closing stages. And if he does, you know, he's uh, he's hopefully going to go one place better. And the market is telling us he's he's very very strong as well. Been very well supported at short prices. I suppose the the, the question for a race like this, uh, Craig, is is will experience count? I suppose having the two ones already, the likes of Secret de Dieu and uh, Wiltshire Wonder, all debutants, and obviously they are they are towards the top of the market. But you're talking of an odds on shot that's had the race course experience. Absolutely, yeah, it counts for a, a massive amount. Um, in terms of the newcomers, Wiltshire Wonder, he's got a, a, a nice pedigree related to several winners, including black type winners. Uh, he could go very well here. He's by Wooten Bassett. Wooten Bassett's progeny, he's only had three runners and bumpers yet to have a winner. Um, obviously, uh, you know, he's done very well with his flat runners and he's he's very, very interesting, Wiltshire Wonder. He's, he's the... The one I'm intrigued to see how he gets on first time up of the uh, of the debutants, but you know he's got a stiff task to try and beat the Paul Nichols horse who sets a decent standard, and I'm sure we'll come on again for that. Runners are coming into line already at Fakenham. They've been very, very quickly from a paddock and parade ring straight out onto the track. So very, very last call for all your bets here. The one to beat, Farland, 4-11. to 11. Of course, if you're quick, you can lengthen your odds on the website or the app if you wish to do so. Over five lengths, for example, is odds against it, 11-10. to 10, If you think Farland will do it very well indeed. Bit of a word from Craig regarding Wiltshire Wonder as well, who's a 13-2 to two chance. Just easing a touch in the market. Lumi Plugin has been back 22s into 14. So each way cash around for horse number three on your race card. Runners are now coming into line. We'll take the call at Fakenham. We're back with Jan ahead of the 4.57 at Dundor. Action coming thick and fast as the runners slowly but surely make their way closer to the starting point. Or well, they were, and they're a little bit keen. So a little bit of a chance to mention a Lumi plug in here, uh, Craig. Just ever so quickly, 22s into 14s, just touching back out to 16s again. But interesting that the one the money has arrived for the Gary Moore runner, Nal Hulahan uh, aboard, who was on board last time when finishing fifth. Yeah, n nice pedigree, chasing pedigree. Um, I think probably the money support, given how good a form the yard are in. Gary Moore can do no wrong at the minute. So, yeah, he's had the one run, finished fifth at front. Well, he wasn't two knocked about on on that occasion you would imagine he'll he'll take a step forward here but he needs to improve a good bit you know if you're looking and measuring bare form alongside Farland he's got a fair bit to find with Paul Nichols as runner absolutely yeah I also thought about Kissagram as well I mean you sort of you're taking a stab in the dark with uh, this runner in particular for a very guest team Kaylin Quinn takes a handy three off but it's had wind surge already ahead of this debut yeah, which is a, a little bit concerning, fully by ruler of the world. Um, don't know what, I'm just actually going to click now and see what the stats are like. Ruler of the world, 15 runners and bumpers as progeny and just the one winner. Um, <laughs> Tells its own I story. Be, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be put off by that though, you know, it's small sample size. So yeah, damn side looks okay uh, as well, but I'd just be a little bit worried by the... The old W1 in the wind up ahead of uh, our debut. <laughs> Runners are now coming into line once again. We are just slightly behind time. We will eat into the time we have uh, to go to Dundalk for the 4.57. So don't hesitate in getting any bets on at Dundalk if you've got a fancy there. That is the uh, 4.57 upcoming. Al Mudafar is the 5-6 to six odds on favourite. Hoover Dam 3-1. to one. Ennis Coffey 5-1. to one. Bada Bing is 7s and bigger prices for the rest. That's at Dundalk. Runners are now coming into line. The starter on the rostrum with the flag in the air. And we are a few minutes late, but we are look set to go. Farland still right over to that far rail. They've been told to take another turn here. Pretty much on his toes, Farland. We'll try again. 
This market is now in play. So they are walking in again. Hopefully this time they'll be off. They will indeed. Off and racing for the finale here at Fakenham today. Farland's jumped off at the back of the field for the Racing TV Open Maiden National Hunt flat race. So two miles the trip and Lumi Plugin has gone into an early advantage of about three lengths to Wiltshire Wonder in second place. Then we have Jack out of reach. A bit keen is Secret Dead Dieu. We're up against the rail Farland and the White Sleeves also a bit keen under Harry Cobden. The back of the field in the orange colours is 60 plus and out wider is Kissagram. Caelan Quinn who's already had two winners here today as they head down the side of the track. And it's Lumi Plugin and Niall Houlihan who takes them along. Wiltshire Wonder is second for Nick Schofield in second position. With Farland up against the rail, who was last seen finishing second at Aintree. That one's nose banded against the rail. The white sleeves of Cobden in behind. Still very keen. Secret Dead Dieu. Yellow with the blue braces. Lily Pynchon out wider is Jack out of reach. And the green sleeves. 60 plus is up against the rail. And Kissagram is the back marker as they continue down the back straight on this first occasion. Lumi Plugin has the lead then from Wiltshire Wonder in second place. Then comes Farland who continues against the rail. Out a little bit wider is Jack out of reach and Michel Nolan, who had that winner earlier on the card. Then uh, behind these four, we have the keen going Secret Dead Dieu. Up against the rail is 60 plus and Ben Post and out a little bit wider is Kissagram. Caelan Quinn as they take another left-handed sharp turn towards the side of the track, beginning the long run towards home once again. And leading is Lumi Plugin. Lumi Plugin with the other... Six runners close up in attendance in second place, Wiltshire Wonder, with Farland, who's up against the rail for Harry Cobden. In behind that is it's a little bit wider, a jack out of reach, followed through by Secret Dead Dieu. 60 plus continues up against the rail in the orange, and out slightly wider is Kissagram. Continues to run a little bit wider on the course as they head down the home straight, just over a circuit in front of them in this Racing TV Open Maiden National Hunt flat race. The seven runners, well grouped. And leading is Lumi Plugin. From in second place is Wiltshire Wonder. Up against the rail is Farland in third place. Without a little bit wider on the course, Jack out of reach. Tucked in behind is Secret Dead Dieu, along with 60 plus and Kissagram, who's just a little bit wider on the course as they now move on to their final circuit. So the seven runners still fairly well grouped. Kissagram has been pushed this along a bit will start in the back one of the field as she runs that little bit wider on the course. And it's Lumi Plugin who still leads from Wiltshire Wonder in second place. In behind them is Farland, who's up against the rail. A bit wider on the course, still Jack out of reach. They're followed through by 60 plus Secret Dead Dieu and Kissagram, who's still in touch as they now take the left hander and now head down the back straight for the final time. Lumi Plugin still leading from Wiltshire Wonder and Jack out of reach. Farland continues to save ground up against the rail, tracking the leading trio. Then with company a Secret Dead Dieu with Kissagram and pushed along is 60 plus at the back with Kissagram, both those being hard ridden down the back straights. Lumi Plugin still leading. Wiltshire Wonder is right there though. Farland. Runners are going in at Dundalk for the 457. We will uh, get across back to uh, this last race at Fakenham very, very shortly indeed. Just a quick one down on the betting at Dundalk. Al Mudafar 4 to 5, Hoover Dam 3 to 1, Ennis Coffee 5 to 1, Badabing 6s, 20s for Armada Rising, and bigger prices for the rest of them. Back to Fakenham. Wiltshire Wonder with Jack out of reach, and Jack out of reach has gone on from Wiltshire Wonder. Now Farland trying to come after them in third place, but it's got plenty of ground to make up, beginning to make some headway then in behind Lumi plug in followed by secret dead to so on the turn for home inside the final couple of furlongs jack out of